All right, so now we're going to go through a couple of uh, Snell's Laws uh, practice problems and um, just two different versions of this problem. Remember what Snell's Law does is that it relates uh, the index of refractions of the two materials uh, when a light wave is uh, changing from one material to an X to the next, uh, it's going to change its um, angle. And so it relates the two angles uh, of the light going in and out, the angle of incidence and the angle of refraction. And it's relating the two index of refractions of the materials, which is based on the density of the two materials. So this example says a light is traveling at an angle of 28 degrees through air. It hits a piece of glass. I should say and, sorry. It hits a piece of glass and gets refracted to an angle of 18 degrees, what is the index of refraction for the glass? So uh, what we suggest is to always make a drawing of your two different mediums. And so this would be uh, one medium and this would be the uh, another. This dotted line would be called the normal so that we can measure the angle in and the angle out. So what we know is uh, that light is traveling through air. So this top medium is air. Uh, air has an end value of 1.0, that's the index of refraction. It's not given to us in the problem, but we know that N1 is 1.0. It's always 1.0 for air. And then uh, it's going in at an angle of 28 degrees. Then it says it gets refracted to an angle of 18 degrees. So that's going to look like this. So now we have the glass down here. 18 degrees is angle 2, and N2 is what we're trying to find. It says, what is the index of refraction for the glass? So we're going to use Snell's law. Snell's law is N1 sine theta 1 or angle 1 and N2 sine theta 2 or angle 2. We're going to fill in the information from the top medium. And so N1 is 1 and then the sine of 28 would be angle 1. N2 uh, is what we're looking for. So we're just going to leave that blank as N2. And then the sine of 18 is the angle uh, that it's coming out at. So we're going to put that in as angle 2. So we just have to do the math to solve for N2. So we got to get N2 by itself. Step one, uh, we took the sine of 28 times 1, and then we took the sine of 18 as 0.31. So we have 0.47 equals N2 times 0.31. And now we're just going to get N2 by itself by dividing by 0.31, and we get 1.52 as N2, which makes sense because this glass has a and value of 1.52 around, and it's more dense, so it's going to bend the light wave towards the normal. All right, problem number two. Uh, it says light is traveling at an angle of 32 degrees through air. It hits a block of ice that has an index of refraction of 1.31. What is the angle of refraction? So we're looking for something a little bit different now, but let's start filling in what we know. Uh, it's going through air again. That's the top medium. Angle one is 32 degrees. And we know N1 is air, so it's 1.0. Uh, then it's going to hit the ice, which has an N value of 1.31, so that's N2. And what we don't know is this angle right here, so we're going to leave that as angle 2. Snell's law is this. We'll start filling in what we know for the uh, top medium, which is air, 1.0, which is from here, times theta 1, which is 32. And the top, the bottom medium, excuse me, ice, 1.31 goes in for N2. And then we're going to leave this as theta 2. So now we have to do math to get that angle 2 by itself. So the left side comes out to be uh, sine of 32 times 1 is 0.53 is equal to 1.31 times the sine of angle 2. Divide both sides by 1.31. Get 0 0.405 is the sine of angle 2. Now we got to be careful here. This is a little trickier. We need to get this angle by itself, so, so we got to get rid of sine. And in order to do that, you take the inverse sine of both sides. The inverse sine will cancel out the sine on the right, and we're left with the inverse sine times 0 0.405. It's not exactly like it, but I kind of uh, it's kind of like dividing by sine to get this angle by itself. You take the inverse sine of both sides, cancel it out on the right. And then you're left with the inverse sine of 0 0.405. And then you get 23.9 degrees is angle 2. So this is going to be 23.9. Again, it gets bent towards the normal as it goes into a more dense material. All right, that's it. Thanks for uh, checking out these practice problems.